That by daylight has many different and unique interactions, where many killers have certain perks, some also suffer from certain drawbacks. One of these drawbacks is light burn, a stun which can occur under the right circumstances with the killers Wraith and Nurse. And this begs the question, why? Why does light burn only affect Wraith and Nurse? Lightburn allows the survivor to use a flashlight, firecrackers or even a flashbang to stun the killer temporarily. The reason why it's only working for Wraith and Nurse is actually that Wraith and Nurse are interacting with the spirit world. The spirit world is one of 8 sub realms in the world of Dead by Daylight and currently only the killers Wraith and Nurse have the access to this realm. What exactly is the spirit world? Well, the spirit world is a copy of the existing entities realm and you can see actually and enter this realm when you are playing Wraith or Nurse. You can see it when you are cloaking yourself as Wraith and make yourself invisible and run around. You have a black vignette around your view and while you are cloaked you are running through this spirit world. While you are uncloaking you are actually going back to the normal world, the entities realm of that by daylight. What is special about the spirit world? While you're in the spirit world, you cannot interact with objects from the real world. That means that Wraith, for example, has to uncloak himself to break a pellet or hit the survivor. On the other hand, Nurse is using, while she's blinking, the spirit realm to teleport from one place to another. So that means that during her blink, she is not able to actually hit any other survivor. You can't just go through the spirit world blinking through it and attack while she's doing that but she has to go out of the spirit world, get out and then attack. Both of the killers also enter the spirit world through different means. For example, the Wraith is using his bell, called the Wailing Bell, to enter the spirit world and move freely through it. The nurse on the other hand is using Spencer's last breath to shimmer through the spirit world and blink through it. So. For her it is only a short process and she's not going into the undetectable status as she is blinking uh, in and out of the spirit world while the wraith is fully in the spirit world and cannot be detected then by other survivors so his heartbeat actually stops for them. The spirit world can also be interrupted through flashlights. For example while the wraith is cloaked and he gets light on with a flashlight he actually has to leave the spirit world and suffers a stun. On the other hand you have the nurse, if she's charging a blink and gets flashlighted while doing so, she actually gets stunned. If you are shining a flashlight onto her before she charges the blink, she's not even able to perform the action, so she's not able to interact with the spirit world. An interesting side note would also be that while our friend Rave is entering the spirit world without any big problems and without any pain, it is quite different for the nurse. It's also the reason why you actually hear her do this wheezing while blinking and charging the teleport because she's going through pain while she's doing that. But on the other hand, both killers actually feel pain while they're being dragged out of the spirit world or being interrupted and interacting with the spirit world, which is indicated by the fact that they can't even get stunned in the first place. So that was it for today's video. I hope you understand now why it's only Rave and the nurse who is experiencing this kind of light burn with the flashlight and don't forget to actually like this video if you enjoy this kind of content and also think about leaving a subscription because i'm also making other dead by daylight content be free also to check out my twitch channel it's down in the description i would love to see some of you hang out with me and to the next video guys cheers